All right, good day again in the mountains. Um, Mount Rose Wilderness again. Got a couple peaks with my 73 year old friend who's still doing it. So it's an awesome thing to see. Um, you know, something I was contemplating over the last few days that applies to all of us is you notice how when we live life, there's always something that's pending. So think about it, like you could be out in the mountains like today, but worrying about an email. Or you could be out doing something with your family and worrying about something in the mail. You know, it could be anything. And there are things, honestly, that warrant, you know, legit worry, right? But we spend a lot of time sitting in places mentally where essentially our moment to moment experience is completely covered and completely dictated by something else. And to be fair, this has been a difficult thing for me for years. I, I, I had a big problem when I was younger and in the jobs I was in about, you know, really worrying about essentially what's next and not paying any attention to what's now. And that's what they say in all these books, right? The now and all these things. Well, it's funny because when you take something like that, that's more of a spiritual Eastern concept, you know, live in the now, it's actually completely accurate because you got to think about something. The mind worries, the mind is trying to prepare. But if I'm out in those mountains over there, and I'm worried about something that's not in those mountains. Number one, it's not safe, but in a normal environment, there's nothing that you can do. So if I'm out there worrying about something over here, back at home, what changes? So that's a funny thing with these teachings, like these in the now and all the gurus you see online is they're actually right. You know, they're doing it through a lens that's esoteric, but at the end of the day, you can only do what you can do. So in a perfect world, if we were to be in total Buddha mode, all of us, it would be, okay, what can I do, you know, in this moment right now, what can I do? You do it and you go about your day. And then something else comes down, another email, another call, another whatever, do what you can do, drop it. So you literally have no other choice besides doing the work and then dropping it and moving on with your life. But it's not easy to do. And the reason why it's not easy is because the mind is always preparing for the worst. So that's good. You know, that's good when animals and shit were chasing us way back in the day. But nowadays we essentially make things up to be worried about. And then we ruin now because of it. So it's just something to think about the next time you're doing something and your mind is just obsessed with something else, ask yourself what that's doing besides robbing yourself of the experience right in front of you.